right, so um, this is a two-stage, high-efficiency uh, Goodman furnace. So I know it's two-stage because down here in the gas valve, it says high and low. A um, couple things about this installation. I'm right in the middle of it, but I wanted to show you gas pressure. Um, so here's my gas shutoff. I have a piece of CM CSST tubing coming down. I've got a drip leg. It's coming into the furnace, going up into the gas valve. Um, and this happens to be a White Rogers gas valve. I'm trying to keep the lighting somewhat consistent um, so you can see. But this has been converted to LP. Um, we'll take a look at what that means. Uh, what I wanted to really show you is reading pressures. So down here on the bottom where the half inch gas line comes in, there's this little uh, kind of like raised, I don't even know what you call it, raised area, raised circle with a screw in the center of it. Um, that's actually the port where you're going to read your inlet gas pressure. And then over here on the valve, right here, is the port where you're going to read your manifold gas pressure. Um, now, these White Rogers aren't as nice as some of the other valves where they've got a threaded connection you go in. Uh, you can try to take your flexible tubing, um, like so, and you can try to work it. Once you get the take the screw out of the center, you can try to work it over and get it to feed over the outside of that to read. Um, or White Rogers makes these little kits. And inside this kit, there is, let's see if I can get it open, dump it out up here where we can see it. There's the little Allen wrench you need to take that out. There's a short piece of hose and then this double barbed adapter. So you take the double barbed adapter and you push the big end into the hose like so. And then the other end of it will push right over these ports here. And then you can hook your tubing for your manometer up to there. Okay, so here's the hose going to my manometer. I'll try to put this on one handed. Tell you what, I'm going to set you down and then pick it back up. So now got that plastic tubing on that barb fitting and then that tube going down to my digital manometer so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna pop this off Ooh. it's gonna go through a startup sequence now i'm gonna shut my gas valve off so that it can't light And then I'm going to go ahead, and even though it's going to try to light, with the gas valve shut off, it can't. But the igniter is lighting. If you listen, the gas valve will click in a minute. Oh, it clicked the gas valve, no fire, and so it said, hey, that's a problem. So, I'm going to go ahead, put that on there, and I'm going to turn my valve back on. I'm going to turn my meter on, so fire up my meter, because the furnace is going to try to restart here in just a second. Alright, so my meter's reading not quite zero, I need to pop the tube off, hit zero, oh I'm hitting the wrong button, 
hit zero. Okay, now my meter's reading zero. I'm gonna hook, put this on my pressure port one. Okay, so I'm on pressure port one. It's reading inches of water column. It's going through its light up sequence. So inducer, then igniter, and it's gonna light. We're gonna hear the give valve click in a second, and then it should light. All right, so we got flames, and this is reading 5.71. So um, this is a propane furnace. On, and it's running on low fire right now and on low fire it should be reading 6.0 so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the gas pressure just slightly so I need to take this cap off right here And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tighten it in just a little bit. And then check my meter. Now I only moved that maybe an eighth of a turn. Um, and really I set this up uh, yesterday and it was reading 6.0. So the fact that it was reading 5.7 something, it's so close. If I was using a spring... Uh, a spring operated gauge I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between 5.7 and 6.0 now this furnace isn't under a ton of load and it went ahead and just satisfied already so the burner shut off and now we're just waiting for the main blower motor to cycle off I'm gonna go ahead and put this cover back on so this furnace started in low fire and we were able to check the gas pressure in low fire. However, um, I would actually have to force it into high fire to check the high fire gas pressure. And the only thing I would change is right here where I took the low pressure uh, adjustment screw off, this one here is the high pressure adjustment screw. And that should be running at 10 inches. Uh, so I would come down here and I'd look at this and adjust that until it read 10 and that lets me know what my um, that I'm at the right fire for high fire. Uh, now I'm not going to go ahead and do that just because the home is up to temperature and there's not really a reason to. But with the furnace off, cycling down, I'm going to go ahead and shut the gas valve off so it can't turn back on. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this screw back in right here. So you want to be careful with these that you uh, don't cross thread anything. And when you're tightening them in, you're not trying to set an Olympic record for how tight something is. You're just trying to make sure it's snug. So, nice and snug. Now we will check the incoming gas pressure. Again, this is a propane furnace, so it should be between 11 and 13. And I'm gonna read that pressure right down here. Now, to read that pressure, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shut off the gas supply to the furnace. And then I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to start with the short end of the Allen wrench in there. Get it broke loose. And then switch to the long end so that I can just spin it out. Like so. Set that to the side, put my adapter on here, and then I'll turn the gas back on, and look, and I'm reading 11.8. I actually went out and turned this up a little bit because I was struggling to get 10 inches on my manifold pressure, and so I bumped this up a little bit, and now I had no issue getting 10 inches on the manifold. So 
got good supply pressure. Go ahead and shut my gas off. Pull that out. Get a little whiff of the smell. Anytime you're doing this work, you want to always think about making sure that you cover all your bases. I'm going to go ahead and oh, try and do it one-handed and drop stuff. So with that lined up, go ahead, tighten it in. And again, I'm not trying to set an Olympic strength record, screwing this in here. Nor am I trying to cross thread it. So I've got it going now. I'm just going to ease it in until it goes snug. Now, I'm noticing something right now. So that's nice and snug. Turn my gas on up here. And a lot of times we may just walk away from a furnace right now. And uh, if we did, that might generate a callback because right here, I still have the gas valve in the off position. So I'm gonna go ahead, flip that back to on, and then uh, make sure this cycle's on again and make sure it burners light and everything properly. Um, I'm a huge proponent of always making sure that uh, everything lights up from the thermostat and shuts off from the thermostat when you're all done so that you know that you didn't leave something turned on or off accidentally. So, um, that is, uh, checking gas pressure.